Don't know where we caught that. Don't know who gave what to who. Oh so my food. god. What? Tea. Hello everybody, welcome back to another vlog. I actually just wanted to um, make some cucumber kimchi, but as I make it, and I did find the recipe on TikTok, so I'll link it down below if you guys also want to make it as well. But I wanted to tell you guys, kind of like a story time vlog about just the past few weeks. First of all, I apologize for the shitty lighting. Do we like my... Hello Kitty pimple sticker. Our room is a mess, so right now husband and I are cleaning the entire house. Husband has recently had a organization kit. I am trying to make room in our room for all of his stuff because I lived here alone by myself, so all of this crap is mine and I don't really have a lot of room for his stuff. So I'm thinking about moving my vanity. So sorry, my dog is having zabies. Thinking about moving my vanity into my office space. Reason being for that is because we need another drawer in our bedroom, which will go here in place of the vanity um, for his stuff. Planning on moving it to my office so I can actually get ready there. So I'm gonna like clean it up and stuff. First, I'll get rid of the basket of laundry that I should have already threw away by now. Ah! Ah! About the third week of October, Connor and the guys are friends. They signed up for a Spartan race of some sort. I'm not really familiar with the whole specs of it. All I know is that we had to drive to Blue Mountain, which is about two hours from where we live. If you guys are not familiar with Blue Mountain, it, I'll put some pictures. In the winter, people go there to ski. Um, the hills are like super steep and stuff like that. So uh, I guess the Spartan is a bunch of obstacle courses. Uh, like it's a race. It's about, I think it's 21, 22 kilometers. And uh, they're supposed to go up and down the Blue Mountain Hill doing all these obstacles and stuff. Anyway, it sounds tumultuous and not something that I want to do. But apparently the guys were like, yeah, let's do that. So on Friday, we drove up to Blue Mountain. We got an Airbnb. We were going with, I think there's eight of us total. So when we got to the Airbnb, for some reason, I guess the heat wasn't turned on. Or... So we just arrived to the Airbnb. It's cold in here. Let's take my shoes off. So this is the hallway. This is a bathroom. This is one of the bedrooms. This is another bedroom. This is the last bedroom. So this is what our kind of living area looks like. It was really cold when we walked in, but it looks like Connor got the heater working. But it was like 14 degrees in the house when we got there. All of the rooms apparently were like heated from the floor. At least somebody likes the cold floors in here. We had to call the maintenance guy, or actually I guess the Airbnb host called the maintenance guy because it's literally like 14 degrees in here. This room is 13 and our room is 57 for those of you that don't understand Celsius. Do we like the cold floors, Kiko? What do you think? We've got a dedicated uh, YouTube boyfriend here. He really is. You need to step up your game. Hello? We have. Diane, who is filming the dedicated boyfriend, getting a video of Soraya filming the dog. Sit. Aww. It's probably because he thinks that your you're little um, so mic bite, is... He's gonna bite the mic? Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Hello! Oh, what a good boy! What a good boy! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. On your oh my god, wait, no. what is that from? For real? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Saturday morning comes around and our Airbnb is like a five, ten minute walk from the village, like the Blue Mountain village where they were supposed to start. So we made the walk over, brought the dogs. Any last words? 
Okay. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Okay, good. Kissed our husbands, fiancés, boyfriends, goodbye. They said the race was going to take them like six to eight hours to complete. So the girls, there was four of us, we went just explored the village, took the dogs out, we went out for lunch. Is this a mushroom? Ooh, right, it's good. It's a kill you. <laughs> you big? <laughs> <laughs> gonna do a hike but then we didn't end up doing the hike because we ended up talking about our feelings or whatever so it was nice to just bond with the girls and just have some time away I actually had Connor share his location with me on his phone so I was kind of keeping track on where they were I think it took them like six hours for one half of the guys to finish and then eight hours for the other half of the guys to finish so it was quite a long time the girls were waiting there you know a few hours into the race one of our friends Caden sent uh, his fiance Megan a picture of him just like on the ground <laughs> oh my food. god what tea look at this photo it's kind of concerning what well i don't know <laughs> Who is that? Is that Caden? Oh my god! Well, he said it to me, so I'm assuming he's alright, okay. but... All the guys ended up finishing, so we were really happy about that. There they are! Look at them! Shortlist! Except for Brian. Woo! Oh wait, 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 don't rush the bus! Now it's time for me to go and make a lasagna oh to celebrate. Oh, <laughs> when we got home, I made a lasagna for everybody and we ended up ordering pizza too. So we just really had a good night of eating good. Oh. I didn't even vlog my lasagna. <laughs> 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 yes. And then on the drive home from Blue Mountain after that really fun weekend, uh, it was another two hours back to where we live. Connor drove for about an hour and he was really not feeling good at all. So I was chalking it up to him being exhausted from the race. We ended up pulling over and we switched and I drove the other hour home. And then he had to pull over. I was like, okay, I'll drive. So I drove the rest of the way home. He pretty much passed out in the passenger seat with the heated seats on, the heated seats on and a blanket. It was like 20 degrees outside. He was like, he had a sweater on, the blanket, the whole shebang. He came home, had a really high fever. I put like a cold towel on his head and everything while he took a nap on the couch and he was just like not feeling good at all. We got home and he spiked a fever. I was a little concerned. Put like a wet towel on his forehead. I, you know, did my best to take care of him because like, you know, wifey duties or whatever. So when he woke up from his fever nap, he um, took a COVID test and sure enough, um, did a COVID test and then he was positive. So I was like, oh, I should probably test too. I feel kind of fine. I feel a little congested, but I just chalked that up. Um, like it was really dusty in the Airbnb that we were staying in. Don't know where we caught that. Don't know if who, who gave what to who, but uh, I also took a COVID test and uh, I tested and I too am positive. So uh, that's great. Not great at all, actually. So, well, how was your race? Oh, pretty good. I finished. Yeah. Came home today, didn't feel well. Yep. Tested positive for COVID. <laughs> I literally, like a week, I think it might be coming up to like two weeks now. About a week and a half to two weeks ago, I, bought, I got my bivalent COVID booster. I got my booster, so I feel um, not as bad as Connor. And Kiko uh, is really, really tired. I hope he didn't catch COVID because I did a Google search and it says like dogs can also catch COVID. He's been sleeping ever since we got home. He must have done like over 20,000 steps yesterday. We walked a lot with the dogs. So I just know he's really tired. So I'm gonna keep an eye on him, make sure he eats and drinks water. I guess the sad thing about this is that um, my birthday was like the following weekend. So um, Connor had all these things planned for me and uh, we were sick. We actually had to end up canceling two of the four 
events that he had planned. We started testing negative and were symptom free before my birthday. I turned 27, which is <laughs> had a wonderful day. We dropped Kiko off to my brother and his fiance who babysat him while we went to Toronto. When we got to Toronto, we stopped by Italy, had a coffee, picked up some truffle oil, and then we went to Miku. All right, where, where are we? I already told them we're at Miku. Oh, right. Okay. I got the premium sushi lunch, which I don't even know what that is, and then Connor got a bunch of other stuff. That's but, all for Diane, because I can't Connor taste. Connor can't even taste anything, because we just had COVID, as you can remember. Uh, I'm perfectly fine, but Connor can't taste or smell anything, so... But, but we're not testing positive. We're all negative. That was like a week ago, yeah. but he's still... Yeah, it's like can't gone. taste anything. I'm perfectly fine, so... I read it could take up to like a few months or a year. Well, I'm fine. And it's my birthday, so I'm gonna eat good. I'm a big bitch. Got our miso soup. Can you down. even taste it? <laughs> I'm, I'm pulling down the miso soup. I know, it looks really hot. <laughs> which was a really really good sushi restaurant like I had probably the best tasting sushi that I've had so far comparable to Taiwan but like the quality of that tuna that he ordered for me was so good and the sad thing is Connor lost his sense of taste and smell so he ended up just eating like rice and vegetables because he's like I'm not wasting money on fish I can't even taste so he ordered a bunch of really good fish for me um, I pretty much ate all of the sushi myself Bluefin tuna, sea bream and scallop through the top here yellow tail and, and tire next on the nigiri, you have the three cups of tuna we offer, starting with otoro, chutoro, or medium fatty, and bluefin, at, regular bluefin at the end. And the, the premium lunch there has an assortment of our omelet. And then he got me a really nice dessert, or actually two really nice desserts. Oh, that looks cool. That looks so cute. Oh, is that the mochi? Yeah, that's the mochi. And this is the long lava cake. went to Ikea which I'm really excited about because I feel like our bedroom just looks so much better and it really fixed the problem of having a husband move in with all of his stuff and me not having anywhere to put it. So. We decided to do an Ikea run while we were out here because we need another wardrobe. I think I mentioned it in a previous vlog but I don't know if it made it in. Anyway we're here to pick up this. Woo! So we are looking for this one and it comes in three packages. So we bought a dresser that he built by himself. <laughs> I asked him if he wanted help, he said no. So we just got home from a long day and um, we stopped by Italy at the very beginning of the day to get like coffee and stuff and we also picked up some white truffle oil which is really good um, it's what we use to make our truffle pasta and then we also picked up probably the most expensive bag of chips that we'll ever buy in our lives this is like $16 for this one bag of chips and I want to try it so let's mm. oh it smells heavenly like truffles truffles are like one of my favorite This does taste very truffly, but I would not pay $16 for this bag. I wish it was more of like a kettle chip, but it's like a Lay's chip. I don't know. It's fine. It's good. It's the best chip I've ever had. No. I'll let you guys look, it's fine. 
I actually am currently cleaning because we have visitors coming over tomorrow and the house is a mess. <laughs> so I'm trying to clean, but like I'm so tired. Um, Connor and I are like COVID free, which is great, but we're still kind of feeling like really lethargic still, so. Also, our toilet is broken. I don't know if I even updated people, but like this, this is broken. It doesn't flush anymore. So I had to like, uh, tie a string onto the toilet so that it can flush properly. Great. Then da da da, it's all done. So that was the first day. That was on my birthday on Saturday. And then Sunday, the group of friends that we had seen for Blue Mountain, luckily everyone was feeling good. We went out for sushi again, and this time Connor could taste like 50% of it. So we went to All You Can Eat Sushi, and we were dressed up in Halloween costumes because it's we're at Kihaku first. Hello, hippies. Hey, how was lunch? Yeah. Okay. Oh, is that Ash? Ash. <laughs> so yeah, it was really nice to just like have a low-key birthday celebrated. We had ice cream cake, that's all I wanted. Yep. <laughs> That. <laughs> oh lord. Woo. I'm done cutting the onions. This looks oh, like a lot of onion and not enough cucumber. Taste. Unfortunately, I don't have any rice. It's pretty good. Yeah. Wow, that's really good. Mmm. I think that is everything that I have uh, to update you guys on what's going on in my life. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! And if this life really does come forever, I know what you